Um, can you tell me about your favorite baseball memory? Well, there's been a lot of baseball memories. If I had to pick one, I believe it was when Hank Aaron broke Babe Ruth's now record on Monday ignore. Night Baseball. Uh, he got a home run off Al Downing, who pitched for the Dodgers at the time. And our whole house was jumping up and down. And I was around 10 years old when that took place. And that was a popular memory. Home run record's probably one of the, the biggest records in pro sports to break. And so at that time, that was real huge. Hello, I'm Coach uh, Stuart Peraro. Uh, this is my 24th year here at Lincoln High School. I have 396 wins through God's will. And so last year um, was a very important historic season for Lincoln. Um, we went to the Final Four. That was the first time Lincoln has did that, I think since the early 80s. We went overall 16 and six. Um, and so, you know, it's something that everybody that was part of that should be very proud of through God's will. Um, so far, going into this year, we're, we're halfway through. We had people early in the year before the season started with games. Um, not uh, finish, obviously, they, uh, they quit because it does take a lot of time and energy and a commitment to play this game. So we've had two seniors and we've been having four guys that are right out of middle school, four freshmen. Um, so far, going into this year, we're, we're halfway through. We've been a very, very good practice team. Um, in the games, when the bullets start flying, is where you might see a lot of the inexperience, but that has been getting uh, better as well. And that's the whole goal here. This particular week, uh, we, we have our hands full. We play um, Westmont High School. Uh, they're a team that came down from the A-League. And so uh, they are a very strong unit, arms that are stronger, guys running down the bases that are faster. Decision-making's gotta happen at more of a rapid rate. Uh, it's going to be very challenging, and uh, that's how you rate people. You rate yourself as against good competition, and how do you handle the speed of the game? Here we go, 1-0. Let's go, 1-0. Oh, that's a good Two, 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 two. Why did we throw that? It was a disappointing game. There's a lot of positive things. We're as good as what the pitching is going to do for us. And, and, you know, were we able to make more plays than we did? Yes, we gave five run and runs up. There you go. Beat it out. Beat it out. Beat it out. We had a few opportunities to win it. You know, in the bottom of the sixth, we could have took the lead and then hold them in the seventh and then the bottom Break of the up. seventh. We could have won the game. You know, we, we oh, were in right. a position where we had leadoff guys on, and we're just, you know, a key hit um, from possibly putting ourselves in a winnable situation, first and third, no outs, what have you. You know, we can't just give up on the runs like uh, Candy on Halloween night. All we can do is go back to the grind tomorrow, win tomorrow's practice, and then. Um, you know, enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, and let's see what happens on uh, Thursday. Going into this week, I don't think a, a people that were trying to predict what was going to happen was going to say that we actually had an opportunity to win both games. You know, if not, not one. How we've talked about the one, two, three, and four. One, play good, win. Two, play bad, win. That, well, we had a shot and we weren't at close to a one. We were at twos. Uh, today, some basic just ground balls, our body actions aren't fast enough at the speed of the game of these guys getting down the line. Um, it's gonna be hard competing against guys that are playing a fast game. Does that make any sense? No, there's value in that game. There's value. You, uh, there's value in that game because you did have a chance. I'm not, I'm not sure 
You guys knew how to win that game. I'm not sure about that. My name is Sam Ferraro, and uh, currently assistant baseball coach at Lincoln High School. I started coaching uh, at the age of 21. This is currently my 48th year of, of coaching, 31 years at the Division I level, nine years community college. This is my eighth year uh, in high school. I've coached uh, from 1973 you know, until 2022. I won some conference championships, the College World Series, Coach of the Year several times. I'm currently, you know, the winningest coach in the history of San Jose State Baseball, inducted into, um, you know, some Hall of Fames. So being around a long time, longevity-wise, probably has been my greatest strength. And uh, so, you know, I'm proud of what I did, but I realized that I didn't do it because of me. I did it because of our players uh, and our assistant coaches that helped me. All, all the way through. See, you might, you don't know it. You don't know it. You're getting better. You don't know it because we work our ass off in practice. The coaches coach their ass off in practice. That's hard for players to accept that. A lot of times they don't want to admit that. But the coaches are having an impact on you. You are getting better. But let's have a good practice tomorrow. You know, and when I was a player too, I, I never really understood a lot of times why a coach would yell, catch the ball. I mean, isn't isn't that pretty much like, no crap, coach, I get it? I want you to understand that I know you know the obvious. But we're trying to point to is a concentration level, the ability to finish, and the ability to be confident that there's two parts to the play, okay? Um, a lot of it goes back to what we talked about before, and that is you can't be afraid to be great. And a lot of that comes to the, one of these words behind here about finish. We've all played enough baseball in our lives where we know that everybody sitting on this bench that's sitting in this dugout has the God-given ability to catch the ball. Okay? Now it's about handling ourselves in a game situation, not giving in to fear. We've been out here long enough and you've competed enough. We got a lot of two sport athletes, uh, some three sport athletes on this team and guys that are one sport athletes have played baseball before. That ain't the issue here. There's God given ability. It's about up here on finishing. So I want you to kind of understand that, okay? But we think that sometimes we're playing below our standards and I don't know if we believe in ourselves enough to execute that finish that it takes. Yeah, I coach at San Jose High before I came here. And the very first game that we played them while I was here was the spring of 1999, and we lost game one, and we have now never lost since. You know, it's been well dominated on our side, and so it's always still something that's a community thing that uh, you want to make sure that you can beat San Jose High. The, the 400 mark on your mind? <laughs> My coach is, uh, kid with me about that um, uh, uh, because we they make a big deal out of that and so yes it is uh, guess we're a few away but what makes you get to 400 quicker is just worrying about the process of every practice every game and then you know when it comes it comes whatever whenever it's in God's will but of course that's a great accomplishment in the sense that God has allowed me to be around long enough to have players to go out and play well enough to win 400 games. So, when you get a when you get a loss, does that do you does that affect you at all, or is that something that's on your mind when you get a loss? Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> losing losing is a, a terrible thing. Um, you want to learn from it. Um, you know, it's all part of growing. It's all part of your maturation as a team, a player, and even a coach. Uh, uh, no, losing hurts, just like winning is a great thing. Winning, that, that feeling lasts all night long. Um, you know, you can't beat it. But yes, losing hurts. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I hate losing. Thursday, Friday would be off. But Thursday, though, will be a spaghetti factory. Okay, so we'll do a spaghetti factory. But we gotta, to do that, though, we got to earn that. We got we to gotta sweep San Jose to have spaghetti factory. I mean, that's a north side thing. I'm sorry, but that's a north side thing. I'm from San Jose, I'm from the North Day. That's a north side thing. We got, we, there ain't no spaghetti factory, we don't win that.
tells you a lot the way the wind is blowing, right? I'm getting a hunch it's going this way, so anything hit the left is going <laughs> to... Well, it slips. Now, I went to San Jose High. I actually went to for four years. We're all from the same community when we were being brought up. Your, your brother played in the big bowl game. Uh, your uncle played in the big bowl game. You grew up knowing that Lincoln was your rival. Does that make sense? When I got to Lincoln 24 years ago, I found out that a lot of our students are from different communities. The feel of the big bowl game, that rivalry wasn't the same as a person that went to San Jose High. There's a more of a dislike and a hatred, us for us, as a rival. You gotta expect their best game. But this game could have been circled on their calendar from day one. So don't think that we're gonna go out here and put our gloves on because we're from a different league. Baseball doesn't care about what league it is. That's an example of fire for Saturday. Then if we, that would be a sweep, then we can have Spaghetti Factory on Thursday night. Uh, yesterday's win against San Jose High, San Jose High didn't give us much resistance. We couldn't help that, but we can control what we can control. Um, so we want to see the carryover again tomorrow against the second game against San Jose High and bring that momentum in back in the league against Delmar next week. gotten our share of getting getting beat right we've gotten beat by a lot but here's the deal you still got to defend yourself you got to keep your hands up don't look for somebody to make it easy for you you have to defend yourself in those situations you don't laugh you don't you fight your way through you keep your hands up that's all you have this is all I got right here. Uh, all right 
Well, it was something we came up with. Uh, my assistant coach, Joe Yeoman, actually put it together in 2001. And we've won through God's will all the series. And so, um, you know, we've always had it. I don't even know says that I knows about the bat game, to be honest with you, or the bat series. Well, we're going to go to the Spaghetti Factory tomorrow night as a team. It's our second visit there. And if they want tiramisu as a dessert, they can have that. What you going to order tomorrow? I think um, spaghetti with the meatballs and the sausage. And an extra order of the sausage. <laughs> Every game in any series we play is big. Last year, um, we played Del Mar in, in, in a 6-3 six, six, game that we won to get to the final four. It was a first, it was a playoff game. Uh, you know, they had a 3-2 lead and, and we came back uh, and, and, and won the game. And so I think it's in the back of both people's mind. There's a little neighborhood rivalry going on. You got to hand it to Del Mar. Uh, they compete. They competed last year and they're going to compete tomorrow. Baseball, baseball is a really, really hard game. Um, it's a tough game to play. We always talk about. You know, if you in hitting you fail seventy percent of the time and you're still considered a you know an outstanding player. There's a lot of failure. And the guys that have the a mental toughness, they survive in this game and they and they benefit from the game because the game of baseball is a real reflection of life. Uh, you have good days, you have bad days, but you still have to move forward. You can't go into bed and put the covers over your head. You gotta show up, you gotta compete every day. Um, and uh, baseball teaches you that. Got this. On you USB. There you go. Go, There you go. Go, 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 Oh shoot! Go help! Go help! Oh, that's, that's that's over it. Oh, yeah! How about Goose? No one's on two. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Goose. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah! There you go, Tommy. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Where to wear me? One, play well. Win two. Don't play well, win. Three, play well, lose. Four, play bad, lose. What do you guys rank that? Uh, one and a half. I got it at two. Yeah. I got it at two. But one and two, you take how many days a week? Seven, Seven days a week. Seven. And if there's eight days, take it that day, two and twice on Sunday. We need, we need to compete. You know, they were smelling that victory. They were ready to throw a party tonight, and they were already trying to come up with whose address to have the party at. They were smelling something. We don't want to give them that opportunity to smell anything. So Thursday, when we have the, our foot, we can get it to that point. We can't let off. We got to put those guys away. This is the one sport that doesn't have a clock. You still got to go out there and get freaking 21 out. Winning, winning uh, obviously, winning is a is a byproduct of um, you know all the things that you do. Um, winning kind of justifies all the time and effort you put into something. I think winning is good for somebody's confidence. I think uh, the more you win, the more confidence you get. This is any facet of life. Being successful, um, you know, I think gives you, puts you in the right frame of mind to continue to be successful. Now, the thing about competition is you, you have an opponent and the opponent wants the same thing you do. You know what, let's open this sucker up. Mike, jump on him early, right? There you go! Wong so skate. Hey, keep it going. Go, 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 Come on! Brown. 
Out of boy. Nice pitch. There you go. Nice pitch. Oh, Yes, it's the fourth, 400th win, and um, a, a great blessing. Uh, Wong went out there and probably had his best outing of the year. And the players that got to go out there and score the runs and get the outs, they're the ones that really win the game, obviously. So I've been blessed to be in that situation, and obviously uh, at Lincoln High School, which is one of my obviously three stops, it's my 24th year here at Lincoln where most of the wins came from, and that is um, great leadership from our administration on down. And we have the greatest AD uh, high school has in Kevin Collins. So with his support and just things around me, that stuff could happen through God's will. Your players had a better day than the opponent. And that's happened 400 times. And I thank God for that. I tell my players, you know, it, it's one game at a time, one inning at a time, one out at a time, one pitch at a time. But as far as my longevity as a coach, you know, you evaluate every year, but in the big picture, I, I still love what I'm doing. And so, you know, I like to keep that going. Let, let, let me explain something to you guys. Winning is really hard. Winning's hard. You know how easy it is to lose? Here, here's the e easy things in life. Easy to lose, easy to quit. In life, it's easy to lose. Anybody can do it. It's easy. It's painless. Painless. It's painful to be a winner. To be a winner is painful, because you paid a price, man. Somebody didn't, hey, you won a raffle ticket. Hey, you won the auction. So guess what, no, no, no. Anybody can lose and anybody can quit. The satisfaction of, doing, of, of being successful in winning is worth the price. It's worth the price you pay. It's worth the price you pay. Thank you.